It's huge. Even I could fit down it. And that's saying something. Good morning guys, so I'm back and today I'm on the hunt of trying to find a new badger set. If you can remember last year in lockdown 1.0, I was following a local badger set back in Buckinghamshire and we had Robbie, Bobby and Dobby and you can check out those videos on my Instagram now. You may remember that I also struggled to get any photos of them, so I'm hoping that this year I can turn that around and get some photos. Now, in that time, I've moved to Bristol and as you can imagine it's pretty hard to find badgers in an urban area and let alone photograph them. So I've travelled out to the countryside today by bike and I'm hoping that I can find some badgers using my tracking skills and following the lay of the land and looking for signs in the undergrowth that there are badgers present. So I'm hopeful we'll find something today. Let's go. So you're probably wondering where do you start if you're trying to look for an active badger set? Now I'm going to hold my hands up and say I've genuinely never been to this location. All I did was I looked on Google Maps and found that there were forests and fields and I thought that is the perfect area to look when looking for badgers because badgers love to live in the undergrowth, in the hedgerows, right at the edge of fields so that they're sheltered and hidden away but when they want to go out and search for food at night they have that open field and expanse to explore. So I thought this is the best place to begin. And I'm just gonna take you with me today and see everything I find along the way and update you if I find anything. So I'm hoping I can find something, but it's certainly not guaranteed. So I've only been up here for 10 minutes and I can already tell that this place is perfect for badgers. There's woodland, there's fields, there's even running water. And if I can find a badger set, then it's also perfectly quiet. There's not a single person up here. So I know that I'd be able to put my camera trap out and sit up here undisturbed in the early summer and film the badgers myself. So if I can find a badger set, I'm really hoping it'll be in a good spot. So badgers are omnivores, meaning they eat both meat and plants, but earthworms account for up to 80% of their diet. And nowhere is this more evident than right here. This is what I've been looking for. This rotting bit of wood is full of bugs and maybe even worms. And it's so dry that it's really easy to break bits off like this. And inside all of this, they will find bugs. And so all they need is their sharp claws and their teeth and they can devour this. And that is a hefty meal for one night. Well, that's really promising. That's a good sign that there are badgers around. So I'm just gonna scout out the area and see what else I can find because there are a number of other things I can look for that will give me a clue of where these badgers are living or if they're even present at all. Now I'm just about 20 meters from where those rotting logs were and I've just found my first badger diggings. Now these are where they churn up the earth in search for earthworms and you get these very typical deep troughs but then with a mound of earth next to them, almost like in letter S shape. And this is a critical sign that they're present in the area. And you can also see how fresh they are to determine how active the area is. And this one looks like it's been done within the last 24 hours. Now, this is exciting. So just back there is where I found the badger digging and there was a trail that was clearly walking through the undergrowth to this fallen barbed wire fence. And barbed wire fences are our friends when we're looking for badgers. As the badgers come through, they tend to nick their fur on the sharp barbs of the wire and you can often find their fur attached right to the metal. And look at this, I can't believe it. And so you're probably wondering, how do I know that it's badger fur? Well, badger fur tends to be about an inch to two inches long, and it's really wiry. You'll realize when you run it between your fingers, it doesn't feel like any other fur. It's not like dog fur, which is really soft. It's really wiry and thick, 
and it will tend to have a gradient to it, often going from white at one end to black at the other. And that's your clear sign that there are badgers coming right through this trail, right through this barbed wire fence and into the field ahead of me. Well, I can't believe it, guys. I've just walked about 100 meters from that fallen barbed wire fence and right out in the middle of the field, I've just found all of this churned up earth. Now this again is a typical sign that you've got badgers around because they're looking for earthworms, as I've mentioned earlier on. And so they churn up the earth and they just destroy an entire area of grass and the turf is completely turned over. Now, I can't believe how much of it is here. So there's certainly a lot of badger activity and I must be getting close to that set. So I'm gonna keep walking and fingers crossed, I can find the set. So I've just been walking and it's getting very windy, but I think I found the perfect spot. We've got fields on my left and thick, dense shrubbery on my right. And it's these sort of hedgerows that the badgers love. So I've got a feeling I must be really close. There's certainly signs along the floor that they're active with trails. So I'm gonna keep walking and I might hit the jackpot. Bingo, I can't believe it. I'm so chuffed to myself because I followed all of those trails, all those tracks, all those signs in the woodland and in the field. And I've stumbled across what I would describe as a badger hotel. There are holes everywhere. So I'm gonna check them out, see if there's any that are particularly active. And then I think it might be time to deploy my trail camera. So this is by far the biggest and most active hole in the entire set. It's huge, even I could fit down it, and that's saying something. So I'm gonna leave the trail camera here tonight in hope of capturing any images as the animals emerge under the cover of darkness. Now we have to remember that this is early February, which is about the time that the females will be giving birth to cubs, which is really exciting. And so if there are badgers here, then it could be in about two months time that the cubs will be making their first appearance above ground. And that's when I want to be here. So we'll leave my trusty camera here overnight and it will record anything that walks through and we'll check back on it when I come back tomorrow. Wow, that is so exciting guys. So I'm leaving the trail camera out tonight because it looks hugely active around here. And so I'm excited to see what the camera holds when I come to check on it tomorrow morning. We'll see what it gets. Thanks for watching.